come with me on a journey to find the equation of the right bisector of BC in this triangle. Now, to do that, you're going to need to find the slope of a line that meets it at 90 degrees, that's the right part, and you're gonna need the midpoint of BC, that's the bisector part. Step one is going to be to find the slope of BC, and then you're going to take its negative reciprocal. That's what's going to give you the slope at 90 degrees. Then we're gonna find the midpoint and use y equals mx plus b with that point and our new slope. Let's do it. Find the slope of BC. Oh, I can do that. The slope between two points is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. 2 minus negative 6 is 8. Negative 6 minus 10 is negative 16. I get negative 1 half. Wow, that worked out really nicely. Step 2 is to take its negative reciprocal. The way you do that is you flip the fraction. 1 over 2 becomes 2 over 1. And you flip the sign negative to positive. That means that the slope of our right bisector is positive 2. 2 divided by 1 is 2, slope is 2. Done. Now, what we also need is the midpoint of BC. There's a formula for that as well. The midpoint of BC, note that I'm using capital M for midpoint, is the average of the x's and the y's. The x's are 10, and negative 6. Add them together and divide by 2 to find average. The average of the y's is negative 6 plus 2, all divided by 2. Great. Da, da, da. That's 2 comma negative 2. Let's just graph 2 comma negative 2 to make sure it's actually the midpoint. Oh, it definitely looks like it's halfway between b and c. I like it. I like it. And then we've got to use y equals mx plus b with this point, x, y, and this slope, the negative reciprocalized slope, is your m. I'll do this in a different color just to excite your senses. y equals mx plus b, but my y is negative 2, my m is positive 2, my x is also positive 2. There's too many 2's here. Whatever. Negative 2 equals 2 times 2 plus, that's 4. Move 4 to the other side, I get negative 6 is b. And so the equation of my right bisector is y equals 2x, that's this slope, 2x minus 6. Oh, not bad. Nice whole numbers here. I can't promise that that'll be the same for you. If I was to estimate a line, the it looks like it's about 90 degrees to this. I guess I'd estimate somewhere about there. Does that look like a 90 degree angle to you? It looks like one to me. It has a slope of about two, because it goes up two over one, up two over one, up two over one. And it has a y-intercept at about negative six. Ah, oh, it worked out beautifully. The point of a right bisector is that it goes through the midpoint of one of the sides and meets it at a 90 degree angle. So you gotta find the slope of that side, take its negative reciprocal, that's what makes it 90 degrees or perpendicular. You gotta find the midpoint and then use that info to get the y equals mx plus b. Pretty straightforward, less than four minutes. I do wanna point out though, when you need the right bisector of a side, the other point of the triangle means nothing to us. It didn't matter if this A was over here or here or here or here. What mattered is where B and C were because it was the slope of those and the midpoint of those that we actually needed here. Cool? Cool. Best of luck.